Admiral Kirby, welcome to the program. A very good day to you, Chris. I wonder if you could shed some light on the recent series of high altitude objects shot down over the continental US and its neighbours. I can tell you this for certain, they aren't UFOs. So you've identified them then? They are identified flying objects? Not all of them, no. Several remain unidentified. And I would say they were more floating than flying. Like balloons. The Chinese one was definitely a balloon. The others could be quite literally anything. As I said, several remain unidentified. Is this some form of coordinated attack then? Your questions do seem a tad loaded and aggressive, to be honest. No, not my questions. From the balloons and other, let's call them miscellaneous partially identified objects you keep shooting out of the sky. Let me make this abundantly clear, Chris. The China one at the start was definitely a spying balloon based attack, no doubt about it. The others may or may not have been an assault on democracy and a direct violation of US sovereignty and international law. They probably weren't, but we shot them down anyway, out of an abundance of caution. There was a direct and imminent threat to national security then. Quite possibly. Or a threat to commercial aircraft. It was a threat to the people on the ground if we shot them down over land, I'll tell you that. That's why we shoot objects down over the water. Can you describe the objects in a little more detail? Certainly. What we know from the debris is they are generally cylindrical and silverish grey with a balloon-like appearance of floating without propulsion. They could be anywhere between the size of a regular party balloon or a hot air balloon. They may have been travelling very high or not very high at all, relatively speaking. That description seems a bit vague. Well, it's a mangled mess after we shoot it out of the sky and it comes falling all the way back down to crash in the ocean. Then it's all full of water and spread out over a wide area. A lot of it sinks. You need to speculate to fill in the gaps when you blow something up by shooting at it in this manner. So why did you have to shoot it down? Couldn't you have investigated a little closer first rather than piecing together a story from waterlogged wreckage? As I said, Chris, out of an abundance of caution. There were risks involved in looking before shooting. There were a lot of antennas on some of them. You never know what they could have been doing. Shoot first, speculate from the wreckage later is the safe way to play it when dealing with potential spies. And what about reports of a $440,000 missile shooting down what ended up being a $12 hobby balloon over Alaska? Another shoot first, look later abundance of caution? Absolutely. We need to send a message and we need to be clear and unequivocal that we do not tolerate this. Hobby balloons? Anything up there floating around that poses a potential threat of spying on us down here. You simply cannot be too cautious. What about shooting down satellites? Surely they are a lot more advanced for spying. I know they have a lot of antennas. Don't be ridiculous, Chris. The fighter jets can't fly that high. It would be completely unsafe. We only shoot things down if we can do so safely. And what about the concerns over intimate spying from electronic devices we all interact with daily that are not floating around in the sky. Well, we obviously can't shoot them down. Actually, we could give it a go. If we gathered them all up and popped them in balloons and sent them out over the water first, we could speculate on what they were doing from the recovered debris afterwards. Admiral Kirby, thanks for joining me.